third subtopic that we are going to deal with is the Fourier series for even and odd functions. So first we'll quickly recap what are even and odd functions. So when a function f of minus x is equal to f of x for all the values of x, it is an even function. Its graph, if the function f of x, its graph is symmetric about the y-axis and f of x contains only even powers of x, then it is an even function. We know this formula. Definite integral of minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 into uh, 2 into 0 to a fx dx when fx is even. Some examples of even functions are cos x is uh, cos x x square x power 4 plus cos 2x plus 2. Then we have the odd functions. What is an odd function? When f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x for all values of x. The graph of f of x is symmetric about the origin. And we know this formula from minus a to a, f of x dx is equal to 0 when f of x is odd. Some examples are x cube and sin x curve. The mean of an even uh, odd function is f of x is equal to half of f of x plus f of minus x plus half of f of x minus f of minus x. Now coming on to the main part. The Fourier series for even and odd functions. So this is our normal formula that we have always uh, used. f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n sin nx. Right? So a0 uh, a is equal to 1 by pi from minus pi to pi f of x dx. a n is equal to 1 by pi from minus pi to pi f of x cos nx dx bn is equal to 1 by pi from minus, uh, minus pi to pi fx sin x dx. These are the formulae we have already seen. Now, case 1. When the function f of x is even in the intervals minus pi to pi, then we have bn is equal to 0. When we substitute when, for all, it is a standard thing. bn will come out to be 0. f of x will then be a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity bn cos nx, right? Because your bn will be equal to 0. Now, your a0, we can rewrite it as 2 divided by pi into 0 to pi f of x dx and an is equal to 2 by pi into a definite integral of 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx. Those two formulae we have obtained by using this formula. Coming on to case 2, when the function is an odd function in the interval minus pi to pi, then a n is equal to 0 and a naught is equal to 0. f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x and b n becomes 2 by pi from 0 to pi f of x sin n x dx. So under the even and odd function we have these two questions. We will be solving the first question. The second question, I'll leave it to you for homework. Following which, I will solve the third question from here, which is also based on even and odd function. It will be easier to solve it that way. So let us begin. Expand the function f of x is equal to pi square by 12 minus x square by 4 in the uh, Fourier series in the interval minus pi to pi. So basically f of x is equal to pi square by 12 minus x square by 4 and we have our interval minus pi to pi, right? Now the function which is given to us, whenever we substitute any value of x in this interval, we will always get a positive value. As a result of which, f of minus x will always be equal to f of x, which is nothing but an even function, right? So what will be our Fourier series? Fourier series f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx. Our a0 is equal to 2 pi from 0 to pi f of x dx. We have already seen all the formulae before. We are just applying it. 2 by pi 
0 to pi, we'll be placing the function pi square by 12 minus x square by 4 dx. On integrating, we get pi square by 12x minus x cube by 12. So over here, this is nothing but into 1. So integration of 1 is your x. Integration of x square is x cubed by 3. 3 fours are 12. Your limits, 0 to pi. Over here, on substituting the limits, the um, terms will get cancelled. You can find that out and you'll get a0 to be equal to 0. Following which we ha have our an. an is equal to 2 by pi from 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx. Again, we'll be substituting the function from 0 to pi. Pi square by 12 minus x square by 4 cos nx dx. So now on further opening the bracket, we will be getting uh, 2 by pi from 0 to pi pi square by 12 cos nx dx plus 2 by pi from 0 to pi minus x square by 12 cos nx dx. We have just multiplied the contents, right? Uske baad, we take out the constant term and then we integrate this term. So cos nx dx will be, give us sin nx by n from 0 to pi. Again, we take out the constant term plus 2 by uh, pi into minus 1 by 12 integral of 0 to pi x square cos nx dx. Again, we will be using the ilate rule and the uh, integral of uv rule over here as we have used before. So over here, this term will be equal to 0. Why? Because sin uh, n pi is equal to 0 and sin 0 is also equal to 0. This entire term will become 0. So Finally, after evaluating this integral, we'll be getting 2 by pi into minus 1 by n square pi, pi by 2 into cos n pi, which can be further written as minus 1 power n plus 1 divided by n square. So what will be our f of x? f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n plus 1 divided by n square cos nx right because this is an even function so now this term when we can we can leave it at this term or we can substitute the values of n for a few terms and complete it at that so when n is equal to 1, we'll get it as cos x. Over here there's 1, uh, minus 1 power 2 will make it plus 1. Cos, cos x will remain cos x, okay? Then we have, similarly, when we substitute 2, we'll get cos 2x divided by 2 square. When we substitute 3, it'll become cos 3x divided by 3 square minus cos 4x divided by 4 square and so on. So let us take down one more question under the even and odd function. So find the Fourier series of f of x is equal to x square when x lies between minus pi to pi. Deduce pi square by 6 is equal to 1 uh, plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square and so on. Pi square by 12 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square and so on and pi square by 8 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square and so on. This is a very very important type of question which is highly in demand so please pay attention. So f of x is equal to x square it is very apparent that it is an even function so when it is an even function bn is equal to 0 f of x is equal to a0 by 2 summation plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx. A0 is equal to this, a n is equal to this. Now we will start evaluating. So first we have a0, a0 is equal to 2 by pi from 0 to pi x square dx. x square's integration is x cubed by 3. On substituting the limits, we will be getting uh, x cubed minus 0, uh, sorry, pi cubed minus 0 and um, on multiplying, we'll get a0 equal to uh, 2 pi square 
pi and pi gets cancelled 2 pi square by 3 so next en is equal to 2 by pi from 0 to pi x uh, integral of x square cos nx dx abhi tak to yaad ho gaya hoga so 2 by pi x square sin nx by n minus 2 by n into minus x cos nx by n plus sin nx by n square from 0 to pi. On further substituting the limits, we'll be having 2 by pi 0 minus 2 by n into minus pi minus 1 part n divided by n minus 0. Okay? So what does our an come out to be? Our an is equal to 4 divided by n square minus 1 power n. So now that we have our a0 and the an values, we'll be substituting those in the Fourier series equation. f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx. That will be equal to pi square by 3 plus summation of n is equal to 1. We'll just be placing this in the equation.